Welcome back to my YouTube tutorial. This is ABN Graphics. Yes, we are in a month of love, a month of you know affections and all that. Yes, today we are here to learn how to design a Valentine's Day cell, uh, this kind of you know cell in Photoshop. Yes, on this particular tutorial, we just have to design a flyer for a customer so that he can he or she can do what can post it around can also print it so that he can get he or she can get the big cell that the person needs however the pe this, this kind of destiny is given by someone i know and we are just going to do that in photoshop so that is my photoshop on this particular destiny flyer that we are going to design um the person needed in a4 so i just have to do it how the person wanted so i'm just going to click on create and then i'll get my sub a distant panel that will appear then we do what we create that particular distance in Photoshop yes so I'm, I'm I'm just waiting for that to come up so that we can easily do that um you know yes so that is this so what we need to do over here is that we just have to click on print so that we can get our a4 so there is my a4 and then I'll rename this one what Valentine okay Valentine D cells okay that ends it uh, let me just add the apostrophe as oh sorry Valentine sorry Valentine let me just have a Valentine day okay and then that ends the problem and I want it in a portrait a portrait form then I'll click create to create my background and then this is what I'll have over here for now. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create the background. So I'm just going to come and click on adjustment layer. Then I'm going to add a gradient. On this particular gradient, I need a gradient of uh, red and black. And that's what I have somewhere here. And then I'll click OK. And I'll click OK. And that is what I'm going to have over here. The next thing again I'm going to do is to go to my distance, my resources files over here. Then I'll just pick up some kind of things there. Then we work with that. So I'm going to pick up this particular distance that I downloaded from pngkin.com and you can also go there and do what and download it without any problem so on this particular this time I'm just going to move it to somewhere here and the next thing again I'm going to do is to duplicate it at this side and then I'll right click and do what and turn it uh, horizontally then I can have something like this over there okay and that one should be match up as we can see is what is love on top there you see that yes and then i'll just decide to move it somewhere here so that we can get the love the real love there you get that beautiful so the next thing again i'm going to do this two particular distance just like that i'm just going to select all this as i did and then i'll right click and do what and convert to the smart object so that i can do any correction anything on that you get that yes so the next thing again i'm going to do over this particular distance i'm just going to click and change the blinding mode to what to to somewhere overlay or soft overlay I think this one is okay for me for now this is okay for me you get that and then on this particular this now I may decide to reverse it up just like that and then when I reverse it the black will go top and the this thing will, will, will be just like this over here and that ends the problem the next thing again I have to do over here is that I'm just going to create a new uh, layer that's all and then I'll come and pick a tool over here called what gradient tool and when I pick the gradient tool I'm just going to hold shift and then I'll drag some small thing over here you get that I know it's too small I'll just drag something like this to appear there then I'll do the same thing to over this place and then I can have it just like this so that it will appear you get that as I put it down there you see that kind of uh, this thing over there I love it and then the next uh, I'll do the same thing again and I'll let that one to come somewhere here and then I'll do the same thing to somewhere here and that ends the problem you get that yes and then uh, I'll just copy this one that is the love uh, this thing over there and then I'll copy it again and then I'll bring it somewhere down here just like that and then I'll do what I'll rotate it uh, vertically then I can have something like this over there and then I'll move it to somewhere here you get that yes I just want to see the love appearing on that you get that and I can have it somewhere like this for now okay the next thing again I'm going to do is to open up my my files over here then I'll copy it Valentine's Day and when I pick up that one I'm just going to paste it using my text tool I'm just going to paste it over here 
I'm just going to paste it over here just like that okay and then I'll try and reduce the size a little bit so that it will go down I just don't want it to be too big in those kind of things you get that yes then I'll have some kind of small on this particular this thing and the next thing again I'm going to do is to pick Bamba that's the name of the person uh, place and then I'll just paste that one to somewhere here and with that one I'm going to change the what the font I'm going to change the font to let me use let me use a T a T W sin and then I'll make it uh, bolder and then I'll try and increase the size a little bit so that it will pop up okay yes it will pop up a little bit for me then I can have it somewhere here just like that and the next thing again I'm going to do is to pick the special kebab and then I'll copy that one too and then I'll just come and do what and paste that one to somewhere here uh, pasting it just like that and then over that one too I'm going to reduce the size a little bit so that it will go down just like that and then I'm going to change the font to rotest rotest will be okay for me and then I'm going to increase it a little bit uh, let me increase it a bit yes let me zoom out so that we see what I'm doing over here and I can have it just like that then I'll move this somewhere here that beautiful and I'm going to change the color to uh, this particular color that looks good and that will be okay for me you get that yes and the next thing again I have to do is to hold shift and then select all the special keep up and the bamba then I'll group it just like that and then I'll call that one a uh, title okay then when I do that I'm going to click on FX then I'll go to stroke on this particular trick you have to watch me careful so that you can also do it next time you get that yes and then I'll have something like this and then I'll change the descent to color and then I'll let it be outside that's the changes for that you get that yes and then I'll reduce the size a little bit just like that and the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to add another stroke like this and that particular stroke I'm going to call it uh, let me say this particular color and then on that I'm going to reduce the size a little bit and then down there color is black I'll change that color to what to yellow over here to use it yellow okay this particular yellow is okay for me and then on this particular this one I'm going to increase it a little bit so that the stroke are the stroke that will be around it will be too small will not be that too big you get that yes and then let me see 15 Oh, 15 is doing this thing and I'm gonna add it up let me see let me see okay I think this one is okay and I want this particular this thing uh, this particular this thing I can decide to remove it by uh, reducing the opacity to what to zero so that it will be an empty thing it will just be like that we get then I'll do what I'll click OK then when I click OK there is how I'm going to have it then I'll pull it somewhere here for now let me just have it somewhere here and this one will come somewhere there you get that yes and then the next thing again I have to do over here is that I'm just going to pick up I'll go to file then I'll come to place a link then when I go to place a link I'm going to my this thing then I'll pick up this particular this thing and then I'll reduce the size of it a little bit then I can have it just like that okay yes I can have it just like that okay the next thing again I have to do over here is that I'm going to create a rectangle a, a ellipse tool that's circular tool and then I'll just create it like that that looks okay and then the next thing again I'm going to do is to duplicate it by ctrl J and then the down one I'll give it the color of white and then I'll try and re uh, inc let it come out a little bit and then I'll select up this particular distance and then I'll go to file can I, then I'll come to place a link then when I come and place a link I'm going to pick up um, let's say let me pick up this one so that when I pick up that one I'll just insect it in that particular circle that is this particular color you get that yes and I can have it just like that and then I'll move this one over here then I'll right click and rasterize it and then I right click again and create a clipper mask okay then I can have it just like it and I'll just uh, reduce it transform it a little bit and then I'll have it just like that then I'll transform it again 
so that the food itself can appear very very well for people to see you get that yes and i can have it just like that and then the next thing again i'm going to do over here is that i'm just going to group it just like that and then i'll group it this way then i'll call that one and then i'll duplicate it then when i duplicate it i'm going to remove the what i'm going to remove that one then i'll place another one again and then i'll play this particular uh this thing yes then i'll have it that way and then i'll clip it in again then i'll reduce the size a little bit reduce the size a little bit just like that okay reduce the size a little let me zoom it out so i see what i'm doing then i'll reduce it a little bit okay not all the food should appear but the main thing should just appear for people to see and then again i'm going to rename it to and then i'll duplicate it again and then i'll rename that one three so that i can understand what i'm doing photoshop is not just about doing but you need to understand what you are doing so that you can trace anything up without any problem you get that the next thing again i'm going to do is to click on this one so that that one to appear over there then what i need to do is to right click and rasterize and then create a clipper mask in and then i'll zoom it out and then i'll just transform it to cover up that particular circle in there and then i'll have it just like that you get that yes so the next thing again i have to do over here is that i know everything has not done what i need to do over here is that on this particular distance should be here i want it to be in the middle and then the last uh, the this one over there should come somewhere here and that one should be somewhere here just like that but what i need to do is that i just want to have some kind of curve something so one and two I'm just going to move that one to the top just like that so that that these two things will be what will be will, will follow each other will be in line but this one will go down you get that yes and I can have it just like that and next thing again I'm going to do is to hold shift and I'll select all the three one two three and then I'll let it come somewhere here in the middle then I'll do what I'll duplicate I'll group it sorry I'll group it by control G then that one will be what good and now that, that one I'm just going to call the food and then when I call it food, the next thing again I'm going to do is to add a stroke again. The same stroke that will add to the top there. That kind of kind of stroke. And then I'll add another stroke somewhere here. Then you, as you can see, that's beautiful. Then I can have it just like that. Then I'll have it something somewhere like that. Okay. Then I can have it somewhere like this. Then I'll just place it somewhere here. The next thing again I'm going to do over here is that I'm going to pick up, okay, UDS. That one's supposed to be on top. So that one... I'm just going to zoom it out then i'll place it somewhere here then i'm just going to paste it then i'm going to change the font to what to t w same and then i'll decrease the size a little bit it shouldn't be that too big for me and then i'll just let it be somewhere here yes you know do anybody who understand anybody who understand the language of the poster and the information of the poster know where UTS TLC is so they can easily go there and check on so we can have it just like that and then i'll have it somewhere here and then that two distance over there i'll just try and move it on top that's so beautiful you get that yes and then I'm just going to save my work in case I have any crash on the way and then I'll come up and pick others so the others they have beef they have gizzard they have sausage so I'm going to go to pick uh, copy others and then I'll just come and pick a rectangular tool then I'll do what I'm just going to have some kind of small something like a button so that people can do what can easily purchase through then I can have it just like that and then i'll move it somewhere here and then i'm just going to add up i'm just going to paste that particular distance over there just like that and then i'll move it somewhere here and then on that particular distance i'm going to change it i'm going to change the color to black i want it to be black so i'm just going to change the color to black for now and then i'll have it just like that and the others i'm going just going to do what to decrease the size then i'll move it somewhere here and then i'll try and remove 
that particular semi this thing over there and then I'll just make the size of 20 that look cool then bold it up a little bit and then I'm just going to change the color to yeah just change the color to this particular color over there then I can have it just like that you get that yes and then I'm just going to copy it um sorry I'm just going to copy this particular this thing over there beef gizzard on that you get that yes and then I can have it just like that and then on that one I'm just going to paste it somewhere here and I'm going to change the color to what white yes to white and then I'll increase the size so that it will follow this is beef this is gizzard and this was sausage you get that yes and then I'll have it just like that all right so the other the order I'm just going to move it a little bit topper and then I'll let this one goes and then the food I'll try and move it a little bit down and then I'll try and just decrease the size a little bit shouldn't be that too big just like that nice and then I'll move this one to somewhere here just to have that kind of communication there you get that and then I'll have it just like that just like that okay yes and then I'll have this one there and I'll move it to somewhere over here then I'll do what I save my work so we are going and the next thing again I'm going to do is to pick the contact over here I'll just pick up the contact and then I'm just going to paste it down here just like that um, just trying to let it be somewhere here I'm just going to let it be somewhere here because I want to work out with something over there so I'll, I'll just have it there and then I'll just draw this particular rectangular tool rectangular this thing over there and then that one I'm just going to make it um, white and then I'll just come and pick sorry I'm just going to pick contact over there and then I'll just come and paste the contact over here contact over here just going to paste the contact over here and then I'll do what I'll reduce the size a little bit so that it can easily enter in that particular small rectangular uh, shape you get that just like that and then I'm just going to change the color to the same color over here and then I'll try and make it what I make it capitals all capitals see that all capitals make it bigger again so I have to reduce the size a little bit and then I'll just let it be somewhere here then I'll try and do what and just try and make it just like it so that it will just be in what in line with what I'm doing you get that then I can have it just like that you get that yes now we are just getting to the end of the tutorial as you can see everything on this particular side has been do what has been done so I'm moving my distance to this particular place just like that and then letting it be somewhere here and then I'll create up another one down there and then on that particular down there I'm just going to give it a color of what uh, of black just like that and then I'll move that one a little bit so that I can can I can get some kind of uh, view there you know some kind of view that looks so beautiful for me then I can have it just like that look at that yes so move this one a little bit so that it will go top and then I'll move this one again just like that somewhere here and then move this one a little bit so that I'll get a white space there and then I'll move this one too a little bit and then I'll just have it just like that ok 
okay yes the next thing again i have to do over here is that uh for you not to get some kind of overlay these things i'll just go to custom files and then i'll come and pick some kind of flowers or some kind of tree just like that this particular this thing if it, if you get over, overlay more overlay it's no problem but you don't get overlay you can use the 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 the, the, the the custom overlays to do that but you have to try and download more overlays so that you can be using it without any problem then you can have it just like that and then you can have something like this over there then i copy it then i move that one to somewhere here and then i do what i flip it horizontally that looks okay and then i'll move that one to somewhere here and then i'll group the two by selecting it then I'll right click and do what and convert it to a smart object. I am converting it to a smart object, that's why it's taking time. Then that's Google cool. Then I'll come to filter, then I'll come to what blur, then I'll go to gas and blur, and then going to gas and blur. I'm just going to increase the distance so that it won't just appear at all, but it will look like something, some kind of effect is over there. You get that, yes, and I can have it just like that. And then we can have it just like that okay yes and the next thing again i have to do over here is that on this particular this thing i am just going to change the color to white to white over there and then i can have it just like that you get that yes now as you can see we have done our valentine day uh, this thing design so I'm just going to group all just like that then when I grouped all do you know what I'm going to do I uh, normally this trick shouldn't be part of it but I'm just trying to show that kind of trick over here I'm going to hold control shift alternate E and then it will match up my design and copy it for me you get that so that is what it has made up I'm going to have it just like that Thank you very much for watching. This is ABN Graphics. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.